against the Jews and they don't realize that the, their success is only because God is angry at the Jews. And now Hashem is going to turn His anger from the Jews onto our persecutors. Were they wise, they would comprehend. They would discern it from their end. For how could one pursue a thousand? How is it possible that one non-Jew could overpower a thousand Jews? If not that their eternal one, the rock, had sold them out and Hashem had delivered them. If Hashem did not allow the Jewish people to be punished, no nation in the world would be able to raise their finger against us. For not like our rock is their little rock, yet our enemies judge us. Our Hashem is eternal and all-powerful. Their little idols are nobodies. So how is it that our enemies are able to judge us? Only because Hashem is using them as a stick to punish the Jewish people. For their vineyard is from the vineyard of Sidon. Now Hashem is uh, describing the lowly state of the nations. They are like Sidon and from the fields of Amora, like the evil cities that Hashem overturned and made into the Dead Sea. Their grapes are bitter. They are like serpents with venom and poisonous vipers. Verse 35. Mine is vengeance and retribution. At the time their foot will falter. As soon as they make a misstep, that, that's going to be the end of them. For the day of their catastrophe is near and future events are rushing at them. Hashem says, when the nation rises and then they go against the Jews, they will succeed only for as long as the Jewish people deserve to be punished. As soon as they got their due, and the faster the, Jew, the, the non-Jews are working on killing the Jews, the faster the Jewish people will get their punishment, and the faster the fate of these non-Jews will come. And then their end will come quickly. The catastrophe is near. When Hashem will have judged His people, He finished judging them, He gave them their due, He shall relent regarding His servants. It's enough, He will say. When He sees that <clears throat> enemy power progresses and none is saved or assisted, Now, verse 39, see now that I, I am He, Hashem, and no other idol is with me. I put to death and I bring life. I struck down and I will heal. And there is no rescuer from my hand. You can bring one vaccine after another. It's not going to help. For... I shall raise my hand to heaven and say, as I live forever, if I sharpen my flashing sword and my hand grasps judgment, I shall return vengeance upon my enemies, the enemies of the Jewish people. And upon those who hate me, I shall bring retribution. Now, Moshe continues, verse 43. All nations sing the praises of God's people. For God will avenge the blood of His servants. He will bring retribution upon His enemies. And He will appease His land and His people. At the end of times, punishment will come to all the nations that ever did anything to the Jewish people. And Hashem will appease the Jewish people. When they see the punishment that comes to all the nations, the Jewish people will say, Oh, thank you, Hashem. Now we understand that there is 
justice in the world and the land of Israel will also be appeased now verse 44 Moshe that's the end of the song of Hazinu Moshe came and spoke all the words of this song in the ears of people he and Hoshea bin Nun Moshe said to them pay attention to all the words that I testify against you today with which you are to instruct your children to be careful to perform all the words of this Torah. It's not an empty thing for you, for it is your life, and through this matter shall you prolong your days on the land to which you cross the Jordan River to possess it. The Torah and Judaism and service of God is not empty. Don't say it's not for us, I don't need it. Don't equate yourself to the non-Jews, rather Torah and your God is your life and the length of your days. Now, the last paragraph, God's commandment to Moshe. Hashem spoke to Moshe on that very day, saying, Ascend to this Mount of Avarim, Mount Nevo, which is in the land of Moab, which is before Yericho, and see the land of Canaan that I give to the children of Israel as an inheritance. Now Hashem says to, to, to Moshe, you wanted to see <coughs> the land. I'm not letting you go in, but I will show you the land from a mountain. Go onto this mountain and I will open up the view for you. You will be able to see more than a human can see. And then die on the mountain where you will ascend just like your brother Aharon died. And now Hashem <coughs> again reminds Moshe of the mistake that he and Aharon did. Because you trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the waters of Mirivah, Mirivat Kadesh, when he struck the rock in the wilderness of Tzin, because you did not sanctify me among the children of Israel. From a distance you shall see the land but you shall not enter there, into the land that I give to the children of Israel. And in the next Torah portion, we will see that that's what happened. After blessing all the Jewish people, Moshe ascended to that mountain and died there. This concludes Parshat Hazinu. Everyone should have a wonderful Shabbat and Chag Sameach.